Have you ever wondered how those twinkling Christmas lights, which add magic to your holiday season, are made? This is more than a simple question. It's a journey into a world of creativity, expertise and precision. It's an exploration of the intricate process that transforms an ordinary piece of wire into a string of gleaming lights that bring joy to millions around the world every holiday season. Picture this. It's a chilly winter's evening. You're walking down a street adorned with twinkling lights, their soft glow casting a magical aura around. Each tiny bulb is a beacon of warmth and joy, a symbol of the holiday spirit. Every flicker, every twinkle is a testament to the artistry and skill that goes into making them. So, what's the story behind these tiny, yet significant, parts of our holiday celebrations? How are they crafted? What kind of craftsmanship goes into making these miniature sources of light that brighten up our homes, our streets and our lives? These are no ordinary lights. They're Christmas lights, a radiant symbol of the festive season. They're the product of a complex and intricate process, a process that requires a delicate balance of technology and craftsmanship. It's a process that's as fascinating as the lights themselves. But there's more to these lights than meets the eye. Behind every twinkle, behind every glow, there's a story. A story of how a simple piece of wire is transformed into a string of lights that add a touch of magic to the holiday season. A story of how these lights are made from the initial design to the final product. This journey into the world of Christmas lights is more than just a peek behind the scenes. It's an opportunity to appreciate the complexity and intricacy involved in their creation. It's a chance to gain a deeper understanding of the magic that lights up our holiday season. So, are you ready to embark on this fascinating journey? Are you ready to discover the secrets behind the twinkling lights that adorn your Christmas tree, your home, your street? Stay tuned as we unravel the fascinating process of making Christmas lights. Did you know that the journey of creating Christmas lights begins with a simple wire? Yes, that's right. A humble copper wire is the protagonist in this fascinating tale of light and joy. Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Our journey starts with copper, a highly conductive metal. It's this property that makes it the perfect choice for our purpose. Copper wires are used to conduct electricity, the lifeblood of our beloved Christmas lights, but copper, in its raw form, can be a bit too eager to mingle with other elements. To avoid unwanted reactions, the copper wire is coated with an insulating material. This layer acts as a barrier, ensuring that the copper only interacts with what we want it to, electricity. Next, these insulated wires are cut into appropriate lengths. The length is determined by the number of bulbs that will be attached. It's a bit like a train, with the wire being the track and the bulbs the carriages. The longer the track, the more carriages can be attached. Once the wire is cut, it's time to give it some shape. This is where our wire begins to take on the familiar form of Christmas lights. The wire is twisted into the required shape, ready to cradle the bulbs that will soon be attached. But here's a little secret. The wire isn't just a passive carrier. It's an active participant in the magic of Christmas lights. The wire is responsible for conducting electricity from the power source to the bulbs, causing them to light up. So in essence, the wire is the unsung hero of Christmas lights. It's the silent bearer of light and joy, and without it, Christmas would certainly be a lot less bright. But how do these wires transform into sparkling lights? Let's find out. And with that, we're ready to move on to the next stage of our journey. So stick around as we continue to unravel the magic of Christmas lights. Ever notice the tiny bulbs on your Christmas lights? They are more than just decorative elements. Let's dive into the fascinating world of these little light bringers. We start with a tiny piece of tungsten wire, so thin that it's almost invisible to the naked eye. This is the filament, the heart of the bulb, where all the magic happens. The filament is inserted into the bulb, a process that requires the utmost precision. It's a delicate dance, a ballet of machines and human hands working together in perfect harmony. The filament is then carefully anchored to the metal lead wires, creating a bridge for the electrical current. But that's not all. The bulb is not ready to shine just yet. It needs a special ingredient, an inert gas. This gas, often argon or nitrogen, is introduced into the bulb. This isn't just for fun. The gas serves an important purpose. 
it reduces the evaporation of the filament. Because of this gas, your Christmas lights can shine bright for countless seasons. Now we have the filament in the bulb and the bulb filled with gas. But how do we ensure the gas stays in and the filament stays protected? The answer is simple. We seal the bulb. This is done by melting the glass around the base, creating an airtight seal. This process ensures that the filament and the gas are safely enclosed within the bulb, ready to bring light and joy to your holiday season. Each bulb is then tested to ensure it's capable of creating that warm, enchanting glow we all associate with Christmas. If it passes the test, it's ready to be part of a string of Christmas lights. And there you have it, the birth of a bulb, a tiny beacon of light that plays a massive role in creating the magic of Christmas. Up next, we'll see how these bulbs and wires come together. With wires ready and bulbs in hand, it's time for the real magic to happen. This is the moment where the separate parts become a whole, where the wires and bulbs unite to create the twinkling strings of Christmas lights that brighten up our holiday season. But how does this transformation occur? Let's delve into the fascinating process of assembly. It all begins with the bulbs. They are carefully inserted into their designated slots on the wire. This operation requires a meticulous touch as each bulb must be perfectly aligned with its socket to ensure a secure connection. As the bulbs slide into their homes, they transform the lifeless wires into a potential symphony of light. Once all the bulbs are in place, the real test begins. Each strand of lights is subjected to a rigorous functionality check. This involves running a current through the wires and bulbs to ensure that every light shines as brightly as it should. If a bulb fails to light up, it's promptly replaced to keep the string's integrity intact. This process is repeated for every single strand of lights, ensuring that each one is ready to spread festive cheer. Now with all bulbs tested and approved, it's time to create the final string of lights. The individual strands are carefully intertwined to form a long, continuous string. This is a delicate operation requiring both precision and patience. The result? A dazzling string of lights ready to sparkle and shine. But wait, we're not done yet. The assembled string of lights is then rolled up neatly, ready for the next stage. This ensures that the lights are not only functional but also easy to handle and install. After all, we wouldn't want to send you into a tangle of wires and bulbs, would we? As simple as it may seem, there's still one crucial step left in the process. Because while assembling the magic is a significant part of the journey, ensuring the magic lasts is another story altogether. Before these lights can brighten up your Christmas, they have to pass the final test. Now we've seen how a spark of electricity breathes life into the bulbs and how they are assembled to create a string of twinkling lights. But how do we ensure these lights are safe and ready to light up your festive season? That's where quality assurance comes in. Quality assurance, or QA for short, is the process of verifying that the product meets or exceeds its expected standards. For our Christmas lights, this process is crucial to ensure they are safe for use and function as intended. Each string of lights is put through a series of tests. The lights are plugged in and powered up to ensure they light up correctly. Each bulb is checked for brightness and consistency of color. The wiring is also inspected for any signs of damage or potential hazards. Once the lights pass these rigorous tests, they're ready to be packaged. The strings are gently coiled and placed into a protective casing to prevent any damage during transit. Care instructions and safety information are included in the packaging. It's crucial that these lights reach you in perfect condition, ready to spread joy and brightness. But the journey doesn't end here. These lights are then prepared for shipment. They are packed into larger boxes, ready to be sent off to retailers around the world. Each box is labeled and barcoded, ensuring they reach their intended destination. And so every twinkling light you see on your Christmas tree, every glowing wreath on your door, has been through this intricate process. From a simple wire, through the birth of bulbs, assembly and rigorous quality assurance to the final packaging, each step is a testament to the dedication and care that goes into creating these magical lights. And that, my friends, is how the magical Christmas lights are born